to report from my vantage point. I, I really need to leave. So the folks have informed me that the surrounding areas are, are in ruin. I, I see some people running now. And welcome to Retro Force Go, Destructoid's number one retro podcast. I'm your host for this week, Chad Conselmo. Joining me are Topher Cantler, Spicy, Stella Wong. And a person who loves chocobos, who loves wearing girl <laughs> jeans, and who loves men, Anthony Birch. <laughs> Two fucking things. Two fucking things. Okay. No, three things. Okay. Did your balls drop over the last time we talked? Because I've never heard your voice that deep than when you were doing that intro. That was like, uh. it was like, oh, I was talking. <laughs> This is the Second, this is the new Chad. <laughs> Post you best in Chad. So, okay, second and third. Why does little Mac now look like a Guido? And why? <laughs> and why does Glass Joe be, bleed croissants? Okay, no, I have a question. I have a question now. Why do you pronounce it croissant? croissant. <laughs> I find okay, it more fun so to pronounce consonants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were actually just talking about how um, how Little Mac looked either like an Italian or Hispanic before uh, we started the podcast. It's a have fine guys... decision. I mean, I support it, but it's very odd. <laughs> have you seen the, the, the 4chan meme where the guy talks about his bit? This is my bitch, uh, and that shit was so cash. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like it's a well. Look, look up shit was so cash on Encyclopedia Dramatica. He looks exactly like that fucking guy. That you know, <laughs> wearing a pop collar has like grease all over him and goes out to clubs and drinks like fucking Zima. It's that that guy. Anyway, amazing. All right. <laughs> oh. I'm so happy we have Anthony on this week. Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately. That sounded bad. That was a bad said. Why? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I no, I, I, I didn't. I take no offense. <laughs> I was just about to say, unfortunately, Colette, at the last minute, had something going on, so she couldn't make the podcast, but we were going to have Anthony on anyway, because he was really excited about talking about Mega Man, so, um, oh. yeah, so, Anthony's great, and we're, he's going to bring a lot of um, yelling and negativity to this podcast. <laughs> and chocobos. <laughs> and chocobos and girl jeans. I do, actually. By the way, for, for the record, Anthony does not wear girl jeans, for, for at least... I, I don't know. Um, for, for, for both record, of the yeah, people who were, uh, who were actually worrying about my fashion sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's Batman pajamas and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirts and nothing as far as I go. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> that is awesome, actually. Currently, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, before we start, this is going to sound kind of serious, and I hope I don't bore anyone with this, but if you're, hopefully you won't be bored by this. But we got a letter, actually. Um, I, sh- I guess I shouldn't say letter, an email. No one sends letters anymore. I wish it was a letter. <laughs> we got a telegraph. <laughs> <laughs> a Pony Express. Um, from a guy named Adam. And Adam is in the Navy. Um, and he sent us an email about Retroforce. And it's probably, Topher, you might agree, and Stella, the sweetest thing yeah. I think we've ever gotten. It's well, we've gotten a lot of sweet things. I shouldn't say that, but this is an extra sweet thing. So I we wanted to read it really quick just because it's so good, and it I think it's nice to share it with everybody. So hopefully Adam doesn't mind, because if he does, then I feel really bad. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in the Navy, so he can like blow up my house like with a giant battleship. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what they all do. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, so this is what he says. I'll read it mm, as fast as I can, I guess. Hello, <laughs> let me... Well, I just it's kind of long, but... No, 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 I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hello. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Adam. And insert last name and insert where he lives. I don't want to give that away. I'm currently enlisted in the United States Navy. I first discovered Retro Force Go and Destructoid almost a year ago when I was at a bar in Accra, Ghana. See, that's already cool. He was in Ghana. I was in a hotel lobby. Big out- in Ghana. 
I was in a hotel lobby on my laptop drinking Bloody Marys, trying to recover from a severe hangover. Ah, uh, the Navy. <laughs> 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 and somehow I ran across Destructoid and Retroforce. The first episode I listened to was, was the Konami Code episode, and I've been listening ever since. I listened to your podcast the whole way back home from Africa, listening to old ones about as well as, as some of the other podcasts on the Structoid site. I would listen to all talk about the games I used to play when I was little. Mario, Metroid, Chrono Trigger, Zelda, Final Fantasy. Just about every topic you had every week brought back fond memories of the golden age of video games. Listening to Retroforce may have strangely saved my career. My job is not very glorious, interesting, or enjoyable. <laughs> oh. Yes, I know that. I am, a like low ranked, <laughs> I am a low-ranked deckhand aboard my ship. I do very menial tasks such as sweeping, painting, chipping paint, and of course the ever-popular swabbing of the deck, which, by the way, I never thought was actually real. <laughs> <laughs> you, really, you really get treated like shit in my job, especially when I stood duty. On duty, you had to stand watch. Sometimes I would stand 8 to 12 hours of watch, wandering about the top of my, wa- oh, sorry, wandering about the top of my ship at odd hours through rain, wind, darkness, severe heat, you name it. Roving around the ship with my rifle on my back and my earbud in one ear, it is you guys' podcast that got me through these tough times. Listening to you as if you were old friends in friendly conversation, to me, Retroforce stood, stood the watch with me. So without you, my ship would, would, wouldn't would have been very protected. Sorry, I didn't read that very well. But now I am leaving my ship to another duty station. I will be on land, never to go out to sea again. I got a new job where I protect the systems controlling our country, country's communication satellites. I will be training for a few months, then off I go. There isn't any duty to stand there, and no ships to wander about in the darkness. So unfortunately, there will be no watches for me to stand with you guys buzzing in my ear. Now that I look at it, I kind of miss standing watch, because it was my set time to listen to the podcast. But I will just have to listen to the show on the drive to work or something. So anyways, what I am really trying to say is thank you. Your podcast helped me through one of the toughest times of my life, and I couldn't have done it without you. I don't have any cool presents to send you, or I would gladly do it maybe one day. Or, or, or sorry, sorry, or I would gladly do it. Maybe one day I'll... I'll find something as a token of thanks. But until then, this email will have to do. So thank you, Retroforce. Be sure to know that I will be listening. I'm saluting oh. right now, even though you can't really see. But yeah. Seriously? Mm. That is the most patriotic American thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you don't love Retroforce Go, you hate America. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I know I kind of messed up some of the sentences, sorry. But honestly, that's one of the co- greatest things. And just knowing that he was standing on the sh- on the like the bow or whatever it's called of a giant mm-hmm. navy ship, like listening to our podcast. <laughs> honestly, that's like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> it kind of terrifies me. It's a really touching. A little bit. Thing. Yeah, it what, is a little if, terrifying. I guess. What if soldiers the world over <laughs> are supposed to be paying attention to like incoming bombers or something like that, and all the ears <laughs> amazing, and they're like, oh, that could be Elmo, and then oh. minutes later. <laughs> Minutes later, Alaska is invaded. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> and Palin's like, told you so. <laughs> um, but, but Adam, you're amazing, and I'm, I'm assuming you're, either, you're not listening to this on the ship anymore, but wherever you're listening to this, we thank you for this letter. It was one of the greatest things we've ever gotten, and we appreciate you listening, and hopefully we'll get to meet you someday. Definitely. And be safe, and if you're just doing a control center thing, be safe. Yeah, seriously, be safe. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. And guard those satellite communications well, because yes. that's pretty important job i'm guessing <laughs> so you guess <laughs> yeah. so yeah that's great so on that note mega man 9 <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i don't know any have any idea how to segue into something else after that but so i guess we should do virtual console reviews is that as cool as the navy <laughs> do you need me to collect for that because i have never played super turrican or whatever the hell this is uh actually you have to talk about we wear, and I'll get to that. So we'll just kind of just pretend that you know what you're talking about. So awesome. you're, gonna, you're gonna improv. I'm gonna give you like a place and like a freestyle a, it. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna give you like a place <laughs> and like a piece of food and, and like go. And then you f- lay down a fat beat, and then I'll just I'll just wrap my way through the. the segment. <laughs> <laughs> um, That'd be great. <laughs> but actually, of course, I was excited about talking about Mega Man Nine, and I wasn't really caring that much about the Virtual Console. But there was one game that came out, and it's kind of a whatever game. But the best part about it is it is the return of Double Dribble Speed! <laughs> Hell yes. We need music for that. I know, we really do need music for that. It's actually Somebody, called... somebody should make a techno, techno remix of all the times that we've used Double Dribble Speak. That would be the greatest thing ever. I might have to throw Adam's letter away if someone does that. <laughs> I'll be like, this is my, this is my new favorite thing. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this guy. 
<laughs> um, That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that I'm is. kidding. I love Adam. Adam is my new favorite person, and no matter what happens, I will, even if he blew up my house with the battleship, I would still love him. <laughs> um, but the game is called Super Turrican 2 for the Super Nintendo, and the original Super Turrican already came out for the Super Nintendo, and this game is pretty much exactly the same. But why is it better? Because there's double dribble speak. First one didn't have that. Uh, it's just like Contra in a way. It's, you're, a, you're like a robot, and you shoot different weapons. They even have the spread gun, which is pretty cool. And you just go through side-scrolling levels, fight big bosses. It's actually a pretty awesome game. I highly recommend it. But every time you start a level, there's this woman who I guess is supposed to be like your like computer commander or something. She comes on and kind of gives you some instructions. But the best part is you can't understand what she's saying. <laughs> So if it's supposed to be important, I just completely ignored it. Like, this is an example. You start up level one, and she comes on, and she says, Miranda, me. <laughs> 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 no! I was like, what? Did they just kill a cat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was um, confusing. But the game is great, and it has double dribble. It has female double dribble speak, which is like a whole new level. And uh, it's pretty good. So I would I highly recommend it. Um, I don't really have much more to say about that. Your rating. Double oh, yeah. Has Sorry. Stella ever done the double dribble voice on air? Has mm, Stella? No. Oh, no. Mm. Stella, it's, time yeah. break, oh. it's time to break that. Rock it out, huh? huh? Wait, Stella, say, say, um, here, wait, I'm going to put something in the chat, and I want you to say it. Okay. All right. Say the double dribble speak. Hold on. I'm tech <laughs> Don't worry, it's on a book. Okay. There you go, say that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. My name is Stella and I think Chuck is almost handsome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was horrible. <laughs> it it, it kind of sounded like the Homestar Runner doing double dribble speak. <laughs> <laughs> that was way nicer than what I was going to say. <laughs> That's a first. What are you gonna say? No, no, no! I wasn't gonna say something mean about you. I was just gonna say what you sounded like was something that might have sounded not very nice. But oh, you no. sounded cute. But I was just saying, gonna say you might have sounded like a, a person with maybe a mental challenge. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Well, um, I'm horribly mean tonight. What is? I think Anthony. Anthony once Anthony starts the show, I just become mean. Oh yeah, excuses, excuses. <laughs> It's not Anthony's fault. Uh, but because there's double dribble speak, and because it's actually a really super fun game, I'm giving Super Turrican 2 for the Super Nintendo four to five dolphins. Wow. Yay. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's like one less than five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally right. Good one. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> so, Topher, uh... There's a little game coming out this week for the Xbox Live Arcade that I think we are going to be talking about later. Yeah? What is it? Um, I think it's called Mega Man 9. Is, you mean that thing that I started playing on my PS3 like a week ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the thing that I played on my Wii a week ago? <laughs> Over a week ago. And the, and the thing that I beat and nobody else on this podcast has yet? <laughs> Okay, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. That's yeah, we'll get to that. that. Some of us have to work for a living. That's that works. That I don't. <laughs> but besides Mega Man 9, which you obviously can skip because we're going to talk about. No offense. I didn't mean to take your, your thunder or anything. But what uh, what's War World? Didn't that come out too? Yeah, I don't care about that. I just want to talk about <laughs> Mega Man. See, this is why I love Tover. <laughs> Amazing. Um, what, do you really have any idea what it is, or did you not even care? I Seriously, I don't know what it is, and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, that's all I needed to hear, because I don't really care either. All right, so just because Wait, Mega Man's that's on a there. Scale. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. um, that's what I was going to say. I it's a large thing. Slurpee, but it's melted because fuck you, Xbox, you're a week late. No one wants it now. Wait, how does a <laughs> Slurpee melt? It's a week Slurpee. old. Slurpee's oh, you mean it's like just like liquid. Sorry. That's that's what melting is. Melted. <laughs> I know, but Slurpees are already kind of melted. They're not like... No, they're not. Pop- it's not like a popsicle. They're Slurpees they're are like, already in a they're, cup. They're like, like, they're like chipped up popsicles. So if you chip up a bunch of little popsicles, then you have ice, and then yeah, the ice melts. True. 
I guess I guess when I think of something melted, I think of something that could be on a stick, and you can't put a slurp in. Stick, <laughs> Nothing in this world can melt unless it is on a stick. The chat can sell more property <laughs> of heat removal. <laughs> How do we solve global warming? Keep the polar ice caps off a stick. <laughs> Okay, now I'm regretting having Anthony on this podcast. <laughs> Science. Not nearly, not, not nearly as much as I am. Well, um, Anthony, since you don't listen to the show, uh, last week I had, a, <laughs> I had a Famicom moment when I was the, the – there's a community member's name that was that was spelled F-I-N-G, Dr. Yang. So I said mm-hmm. Fing, Dr. Yang, <laughs> <laughs> when it obviously was F and Dr. Yang. So if that happens again, please refrain from making fun of me too much. I will. I will. I honestly think that the people who have, who have written things to this podcast who have had their names mispronounced should start a club. And it should be, I guess it should be called the, the Fing Keljore Club. <laughs> Not, no, no, sorry, Dangale. Sorry. Dangale, yeah. Fing Dangale. That would be a great club. And it, it would probably have every single community member in it. <laughs> yeah. But you could just, just call it the Detoid Forums and then just <laughs> be late with it, the Red Force Go Fan Club. Totally, totally. Um, well, Anthony, since you were standing in for Colette this week, well, not really standing in for her, but you know, since she's not here, and you're the only yeah. other person that's here, not that's not her. <laughs> yeah, the, is, uh, it's getting by the minute. I'm feeling more and more welcome. You, <laughs> you have to couple the WiiWare reviews, and I'm do assuming that. you didn't play any of these games, so just do your best to completely improv your way through it. The two okay. games are Bomberman Blast and Art Style Orbion. Go! Let me tell you about Bomberman Blast using information that in no way could be looked up on, say, a user-edited encyclopedia accessible online. This is completely straight from the heart. Here we go. Bomberman Blast is an action game developed and published by Hudson Soft, linked to Hudson Soft for the Wii, linked to Wii, and WiiWare, linked to the WiiWare. It is from the Bomberman series. Bomberman series is a link. The game will be released in two versions. Something, something, something. Uh, citation needed. That's straight from the heart as far as you're concerned. <laughs> as far what about as, uh, arts- what, what about Art Style Orbient? Well, let me tell you about Art Style Orbient. Art Style is a video game series created by Nintendo for WiiWare. The first game in the Art Style series, Orbient, was released in North America on September 29th, 2008. Another <laughs> two Art Style games will be released in, during October 2008. Small bracket with a little one inside of it and then another bracket. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> There's some other shit. But no, actually, in all seriousness, um, I think Aaron Lindy mentioned this on... I think this is what he was talking about on, on Podtoid, right, Topher? This game? What? I wasn't listening to you just now. Topher's <laughs> <laughs> having some problems tonight. Or on Topher, or, or, or on Podtoid, probably. But no, I think, Orbi- <laughs> I think Orbi- uh, Arsile Orbion, I think, is by the guys who made these, these bit generation games that, are, that were allegedly, I don't know too much specifics about the details, but they're said to be very, very clever and very unusual. And I remember those. Yo, you played them the, for the Game Boy Advance? I didn't play them, but I know exactly what you're talking about, because I remember all the box arts and how they, they were really cool, and they are all kind of themed... To kind of fit yeah, together. there's like there's like one that you may have heard of where you basically you're just this little pixel and there are basically no graphics. You have to move your character left and right using the left and right channels of the speakers on on your headset to like yes align yourself with with a music strain. It sounds weird, but I mean you can probably not emulate it easy enough. But that's the, those are the guys that made that, and I think it sounds very interesting to me given what little I know about it from what I didn't get from Wikipedia. That's kind of cool. It's kind of a bummer, though, that like these kind of games... I, Bomberman Blast I've heard a lot about, but Art Style Orbion, like, it's kind of a bummer that they don't really advertise these games. I mean, I yeah, never even I, heard of it. Well, I think the bummer also is that even if they did want to advertise it, like, how would you advertise that game I was talking about with the sound? Like, I can't even explain it properly. Yeah, that's like, true. Like, you put on the box art, like, there are noises, and you'll move a lot. <laughs> and where <laughs> no do you graphics. even advertise a WiiWare game? Like, I mean, where besides the internet, yeah. I mean, where else do you do that? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's got to be word of mouth, and that's I think that's why probably why Aaron wanted to make such a big deal of pointing it out, and I'll I'll try and carry on his suggestion, and at least at least check out what the deal is on WeWare or on Wikipedia or something. But yeah, it, I'm actually gonna look into seeing how many ga- how many copies like or whatever you call it downloads, uh, games like that s- sell because I'm really curious like who would go out and, and download that and knowing basically nothing about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it doesn't have a very enticing title, art style Orbion. It sounds when I when I actually saw that in the chat that you put in, I thought that was some sort of like section you guys had that I didn't know about that you added because I don't listen to the show. Like this week, <laughs> this week we're gonna highlight somebody's retro art style, Orbion, the, the you know the go getting you know techno DJ from Britain, and you know that that's some sort of thing there. I didn't realize it was a game. <laughs> That's really funny. Well, if you had to rank uh, this week's WiiWare reviews on a scale of zero to five chocobos, 
uh, knowing absolutely nothing about them, what would you give it? I'd give it a faked male orgasm out of five chocobos. <laughs> wow. That's a, that is pretty good, I guess. Especially because I don't, I don't, actually, I don't actually know if that's good or not. <laughs> it's just the closest. Uh, having heard what she did on the last Retro Force Go, it's the closest approximation I can get to what she might have said had she been here. Oh, um, this is where I, I would say, pour like, my forty onto the ground and say like I'm missing. For man. some weird reason, I almost said "May she rest in peace," but I was like, "Wait, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do, Chad? I don't oh. know what's wrong with me tonight. It's something's like it's something's in the air." <laughs> Why isn't she here, Chad? Where have you been? Shh, quiet time, quiet time. Change the subject. So anyway, how about them uh, Dodgers? Hmm. I don't know. Have they killed Kalei <laughs> Bennett recently? Break! Let's go! Um, Anthony is irresponsible and didn't do his part for the show this week again, so we're going to make fun of his haircut. Anthony yeah. has a dumb haircut. Anthony, Anthony's haircut looks like it was cut by Helen Keller. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you and fuck Helen Keller. Oh, oh shoot! Oh, <laughs> oh snap. Hi. Hello. I may not listen, but occasionally I'm on. I guess we forgot that Anthony was on this episode. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy, nation. Okay. Um, so this new segment, the New Gamer Dictionary, a lot of people didn't seem to know what to call it. It's called the New Gamer Dictionary. And um, before I, I get to the actual the, 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 the results from, from last week, I want to just, again, uh, if you want to submit something for the New Gamer Dictionary, your idea... Uh, just send me an email at anthony at destructoid.com or reverendanthony at gmail.com because otherwise it becomes sort of a weird shuffle where I have to go to 18 different places to find stuff and can get confusing. But last week's um, proposed mechanic or idea or trend was, uh, you know, if you're playing Ikaruga and you keep dying over and over and over again and you somehow just subconsciously memorize the exact number of button presses and directional buttons you need to do to get back to the restart menu... Uh, what would you call that? And we actually had a lot of really great... I don't, I don't think I'm going to necessarily pick one, maybe two. I don't know, because we had a lot of good ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, KMCC called it re-perfecting. Uh, I, it's, I think it's Pallidi or Pallidi? I don't know. P-A-L-I-D-I. Pallidi. Uh, called, called it post-mortem precognition, which is definitely good for, for just impressing people, just by saying it. Yeah, um, seriously. <laughs> My mm-hmm. personal favorite, uh, Coffee Sash, said it's called Quit Stinked, like a portmanteau of quit and instinct. <laughs> oh, I like that oh, one. Good one. I, yeah, I really like that one. But the, what, really, what was really unusual to me is that three different people gave me the same phrase. Samit mm. Sarkar, Capcomi, and Jonathan Pike all said menu memory, oh, which is unusual. Weird. Well, I think it may have something to do with the fact that, uh, I, I can't remember who, but somebody in the pre-show post for this episode pointed out that what I mentioned was... Uh, sort of a real thing. You know, it's muscle memory. It's essentially, th- that's part of whatever you do. You know, if you do a job where you have to hammer nails into things, then you, your hands will just get used to it without yourself thinking about it. So it's a real thing, but just for, for specifics of video game purposes, um, menu memory works out pretty well. Um, so for this week, I thought, you know, we have to do another thing, obviously. I don't even know why I said <laughs> that. I'm just wasting words. But what do you call it in a rhythm-based game, like a, a music game, a guitar hero, a, a, a taiko drum master? When a really, really, really long note comes up, and you miss it, and you have to sit through a very, very long <laughs> period of time, <laughs> as, as, as you watch, just horrified and completely self-loathing, as what probably would have been a really extreme badass part of that song just sort of goes you by with like, you know, like a gar- guitar hero goes, you know, as, as when you fuck up, and you're just going <laughs> to stare at that big black line going across the screen. <laughs> That's screen amazing. Oh, just wow. to solidify your failure at everything that game has to offer. What do you call that? One word or a two word phrase? And Python's are the alive. actual, the actual, the act of doing it, like a verb, or the actual line that is black, like the, the black act, and line. The act of doing it. The act of doing yeah, it. Yeah. What do you call okay. it when that happens? Mm-hmm. 
it can be you if you want and i i, I can i want to be kind of open about it if you want to just refer to the feeling of it or uh the actual act of it happening either of those is cool but that's you know, really funny you say that because that is the worst feeling ever one. especially like in rock band when it's like a really really long note and you just have to watch and just think oh god i could have been whammy bar barring this whole thing <laughs> <laughs> Especially if it's like at the end of like a really sick solo, so and you like you nail everything else, and so it's like, and then right when you get to the last one that would have just like totally played the song out, and then you just get to sort of sit there <laughs> yeah. prematurely. Oh man, I'm excited yeah, about this one. This is gonna be good. Yeah, that's that's yeah. The, that's the idea. Uh, send it to Anthony at destructoid.com or Reverend Anthony at gmail.com, and uh, I'll, I'll probably read, read aloud all the cool ones on uh, the next segment, next episode. Cool. That's all. Oh wait! Oh no! Wait! Shit! Okay, sorry. Also, um, the intro music, the theme for the New Gamer Dictionary, is by someone named Q P A. He sent me this 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 wow. this song, and it's really awesome. I'll, I'll I'll actually, you guys haven't heard it yet, but I'll, I'll link you to it. You can listen to it later. It's really really cool. Awesome. And by later, I mean right now. <laughs> <laughs>